Developing Java applications requires both expertise and focus. The hard part isn't writing the code, it's delivering a fully functional, high quality solution on schedule. When you dig down into where a large amount of development time is spent, the single biggest time sink is the process of rebuilding and redeploying after changing any Java code. We're talking about local builds here. Developers have to do this every time they want to see how their new code works, and they'll wait anywhere from 2 to 10 minutes per redeploy. Think about crunch time before a release. Every minute counts. You can't wait for anything, period. And we know that developers aren't always heads down coding. They have other responsibilities. So restarts and redeploys take time away from the already little time developers have dedicated to their main responsibility. But redeploys are necessary, aren't they? Actually, no. You can stop waiting and keep developing with JRubble. Okay, I'm intrigued. So JRubble can prevent waiting for redeploys? How? Simple, really. JRubble is a JVM plugin which fast tracks the development of Java applications by skipping the time consuming build and redeploy steps. It makes you more productive since you can view code changes in real time while preserving application C. Let me show you. When you make code changes, you hit the build button and redeploy and restart the app server and wait for everything to come back up, right? Yeah, that's about it, except for the additional time I usually am spending reproducing where I was in the application before the change. Well, let's add JRubble to the mix. Make some code changes and invoke the new code in your running application. Okay, uh, I've made the code changes and compiled. Hey, the app is running, and the changes, they're right here, right where I left off. Wow, that was really fast. So how does JRubble work? JRubble rewrites classes to be updatable. It versions each class individually instead of the entire application or module at a time, all within the existing class order. Changes to classes are always visible via the Reflection API. Uh-huh. And what about framework support? Uh, we're using a number of different frameworks in our application. JRubble reinitializes framework configuration files, automatically rewires components, and rebuilds caches on the fly to prevent even more downtime. That's really cool. So, how much time can JRubble save me? The math is simple. Take your redeploy time, times the number of redeploys per hour, times 5 hours, an average workday. For example, if your application server takes on average 3 minutes to restart, and you rebuild and redeploy 4 times in an hour, you're waiting 12 minutes an hour, or an hour every workday. But that's being generous. Most developers aren't coding 5 hours a day. <laughs> I wish. If you're like most developers, you're actually only coding for 3 hours a day, or 15 hours a week, and you're spending 20% of that precious time waiting for your server to come back up, reducing the time you're actually coding in a week to 12 hours. Scale that over a year, and that's about a full work month wasted on restarts and redeploys every year. Wowza! That's a whole lot of time. So just to make sure I got it straight, JRebel is a JVM plugin that can save my team hours of time every single day otherwise spent sitting around waiting for redeploys and losing my tempo and flow? That's about it. Plus you can get your work done faster and go home earlier. Find out more about how JRebel can save you time and money and help you meet deadlines at jrebel.com.